cordyceps. It's called the trail of the yak. So I'm going to be going through how yaks are even involved in cordyceps. <laughs> um, so the scientific name of this cordyceps mushroom specific to Tibetan culture is Ophiocordyceps in essence. Ophiocordyceps is just the scientific genus of it. It is um, kind of this genus of, of fungi that specifically parasitize insects and, and grow mushrooms from these insects. And senescence just means from China. Um, within Tibetan culture, it's called Yartsu, Yartsa Ganbu. And within Mandarin culture, it's a direct translation of that. And it's called Dongchong Xiaocao. And that whole thing just means summer grass, winter worm. I think it's one of the most poetic things that, you know, a worm in the winter slowly turns into something that is hidden among grass and kind of looks like grass in the summer. Um, but the story of this is that over 2000 years ago, nomadic yak, yak herders in Tibet and Nepal kind of, they were, they switched to new grazing lands and, and they went into higher altitudes and they noticed that their animals started behaving differently. They were fornicating, they were more energetic, they seemed happier and they, they were, they were, yeah, they were really productive. Um, and they sought the causal agent of why these behavioral changes happened. And they found that it was all due to this specific uh, Ophiocordyceps and senescence mushroom. And then they started taking this mushroom and taking it for themselves and teas in the morning before work. And it's had this long history within traditional Chinese and Tibetan medicine for thousands of years ever since.